Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the operations master roles in Active Directory. So when managing an Active Directory environment, it is essential to know which domain controller holds the operations master role. These roles, also known as the flexible single master operations role, we also call them as FISMO roles, are responsible for specific operations within the Active Directory infrastructure. In this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways to find the operations master role in Active Directory. All right, I've already logged into my domain controller. Now let's see how you can find this operations master role using GUI. But before finding the schema master role, it is necessary to register the DLL by opening an elevated command prompt window. So I'm going to right click on start and click on run and I'll type CMD. And in this elevated command prompt window, I'm going to type reg SVR32 and I'm going to specify the name of the DLL, which is responsible for schema management, which is SCHMM gmt.dll and press enter. Just make sure that the DLL registration is successful. So I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to open a MMC snap in by right clicking on start window and click on run and type in MMC and press enter. I'll click file and click on add remove snap in. Now I'm going to add in a few snap ins. The first one is Active Directory domains and trusts and then Active Directory schema, Active Directory users and computers. Click on OK. Now in the console on the left side, first I'm going to right click on Active Directory Domains and Trusts and click on Operations Master. Okay, you can see DC01 is the name of my domain controller, which is holding the domain naming Operations Master. I'll click on Close. Now I'm going to right click on Active Directory Schema and click on Operations Master. And you can see DC01 is also holding the Schema Master FISMO role. I'm going to click on Close. And now I'm going to expand Active Directory Users and Computers and I'm going to right click on the domain name, which is tastybiryani.local and click on operations master. Now you're going to see three tabs, RID, PDC, infrastructure. All these three tabs represent the domain wide FISMO roles. And in all these three tabs, you can see DC01. So we have DC01 for RID and we have DC01 for PDC and we also have DC01 for infrastructure. So by the way, my Active Directory domain is just a single forest, single domain, and I only have a single domain controller. And all these FISMO roles are held by the single domain controller DC01. Okay, now that we know how to find the FISMO roles using the GUI, let's move on to the next step. Now let's see how we can find these FISMO roles using PowerShell. So I'm going to right click on Start and click on Windows PowerShell Admin. First, I'm going to import the Active Directory module by typing import module Active Directory, press enter. Now to find the domain controllers that holds the domain-wide FISMO roles such as RID master, PDC emulator, and infrastructure master, I'm going to run the commandlet get hyphen AD domain, and I'll pipe it, and I'll select RID master, PDC emulator, infrastructure master, press enter. Okay, you can see DC01 is holding all the domain-wide FISMO roles. And to find the domain controllers that hold the forest-wide FISMO roles, such as the domain naming master and schema master, I'm going to run the command get hyphen AD forest, select object, domain naming master, and schema master, press enter. And again, DC01 is also holding the forest-wide FISMO roles. Okay, the next method we are going to see is using the command line tool NTDS util. So I'm going to right click on start and click on run and type CMD to open an elevated command prompt. And I'll type the command NTDS util roles connections, press enter. For the server connection, I will type the command connect to server and I'll specify the host name of the domain controller, which is DC01 and I'll press enter. Okay, it says that NTDS util has connected to DC01. Now I'm going to exit out of server connection and in the FISMO maintenance, I will type select operation target and at the select operation target, I'm going to type the command list roles for connected server and press enter. All right, it says the server DC01 knows about five FISMO roles. So you can see the schema and the domain naming master is held by DC01. Likewise, PDC emulator, RID master, and infrastructure master roles are also held by DC01. All right, I'm going to show you the final method using a command line tool called NetDOM. Let me quit the NTDS util, quit. Quit, quit. Let me clear the screen. And in here, I'm going to type net DOM query FISMO. And this output is very simple to read. So you can see it lists all the five FISMO roles and all these five roles are held by DC01. So with these different methods, you can easily find the FISMO roles in your Active Directory environment. And knowing which domain controllers hold these roles is crucial for proper Active Directory management and troubleshooting. 
And by the way, the operations master roles are critical for the smooth functioning of your Active Directory infrastructure. So monitoring and ensuring the health of these roles will help you to maintain a stable and a reliable Active Directory environment. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.